What's up everybody? Blue Gabe, we're back from Wyoming. But before we get started, I gotta give a huge shout out to Icy Breeze for sponsoring this video. How about yesterday? Yesterday was epic. We need to tell them about yesterday. <laughs> but first, let's show them how disgusting this boat is right now. We got honeybees. We're in South Georgia and there's a honeybee hive right there. And I guess they're all on this boat, soaking up the salt and the squid chunks and the Yuck. bait. Oh, it's nasty. So we got home from Wyoming on Monday, ended up getting home at 3.45 a.m. Thanks to American Airlines for being probably the worst airline company in the whole world. Delays and cancellations all day. We got home to my house in Stewart, Florida at 3.45 a.m. Got up, ran some errands. Crystal had to go get her eyelashes done. Give us a good blink real quick. I don't do much girly stuff, but that's the one thing that makes me feel like I'm like a girl because I don't wear no makeup. You deserve it, babe. Thank you. Then I went down to the Fisherman Center off of Blue Heron and got all kinds of tackle that we needed for this trip and we headed to Georgia. Then on the way, you see my face. It doesn't look really bad now because I've been keeping Neosporin on it. We left my house at 6 p.m. set to get here at midnight with no sleep coming home from Wyoming and we blew a bearing at about 10.30 at night. So while I was changing the bearing, my plier slipped and I scratched myself. It's not bad, but it was bleeding like a stuck pig on the side of the road. Got that done, got here at 3 a.m. Got up, got the boat ready, and then yesterday we went offshore. A hundred miles in this boat. Ran flawlessly, all of our gear went flawlessly. We're about to show you what we caught. And we're gonna take the byproducts of what we caught, we're gonna go put them in the swamp, and we're gonna catch crawfish with them, and then cook them in this video for y'all. We got a beautiful scamp grouper, trigger fish, and then... Oh. <laughs> Why'd you drop that one in the dirt, Brad? <laughs> Y'all, that's Brad Yeoman. We got a beautiful wahoo. The mosquitoes are so bad right now. We got more dolphin. Golly. <laughs> Before we go any further in this video, I got to tell you a little bit more about Icy Breeze. This is the world's first AC cooler. So let me tell you how this thing works. It takes this freezing cold water that you're looking at, it runs it up through here and across the heat exchanger in these coils, just like the air conditioner in your house. It pulls the moisture out and the fan pumps freezing cold air right out on you. They have these awesome lithium batteries that will run it up to six and a half hours on one charge. You can also run it off a of 110 in your house and it also comes with a car charger, which luckily for me in my boat, I have one in my truck on my side by side. So no matter where I go, where I take this icy breeze, I'll have power. Right here is where all the magic goes down. It comes with three speeds, high, medium, and low. There's the power button and extreme cold. That's a good feature when it's super hot out. But right here is the super speed power port. Check out this cool remote. That's right, I can stand eight feet from my icy breeze and turn it on and off. Or I can also use the same port to charge my GoPro batteries or my cell phone or anything else that charges on a USB. So I've used other portable AC units before. Obviously never one that's also a cooler. But I have used other portable AC units before. And the, the thing that's the worst about them is they have an exhaust. So if you're using a tent, you have to exhaust them out of the tent. If you're using them in your bedroom, it's so annoying trying to get the exhaust out the window. With the icy breeze, there's no reason for an exhaust. It doesn't need one. It's all self-contained and there's no Freon. Only weighs 16 pounds, holds up to 30 pounds of ice. Made in America, lifetime warranty. You see this splitter right here it comes with? You can extend this out to four feet and these will extend out as well. So if you're at a baseball game, you can use it and your wife or whoever's with you can enjoy some cold air as well. If you're wondering how cold the air is coming out of it, it's typically about 35 degrees colder than the temperature you're in when you turn this thing on. It'll blow it out of this vent about 25 miles an hour, which is equal to like your truck or your car AC on high. Now that you've heard everything about it, if you're just like me and you really want one, head to the link in the description below this video. Check out the Icy Breeze link and order yours today. We found Brad's secret stash of crawfish traps. Holy cow. What all you got in there, Brad? <laughs> there was eel traps, but we made crawfish traps. Oh Let's my go goodness. Inside. You got a bunch more? Yeah, got them everywhere. Holy moly. 
A bunch in the river too. You reckon we could use some of those? That about got me. <laughs> that about got me. <laughs> Sucker, you did that on purpose. That was stage. You reckon we could use some of these? Get one with the little man in it. There ain't no the snakes ones. in here, is there? Which one? One of these? these round ones. One yeah. of these round ones right here? All right. Put How many you want, Gabe? Four more. Yeah, four more. Look for snakes. Oh, Jesus. We caught a coach with him one at Mr. Trevor's We sure did. I forgot about that. All right, the plan is to use some of those row in these traps. The dolphin row. The dolphin row in these traps, and we'll catch some crawfish for dinner tonight. You guys, we wore them out yesterday. Not the size of the fish we were looking for, but the quantity was definitely there. What you got planted in that garden? <laughs> I'm gonna go over there and look right now. He's trying to, he's trying to hold tight-lipped on the garden. Babe, I heard he had fresh squash. And that mockingbird is letting it rip. Oh, there's a, is it, that's a squash right there. Squash and look at all those tomatoes. Say it again. Tomatoes. 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 Holy moly. <laughs> Usually these new potatoes are small. These are giant. <laughs> look at that frog. <laughs> you see this huge cornfield? It's about 80 acres. The woods just beyond it is exactly what this entire field looked like. That man by himself cleared all the trees, derooted all the soil, fertilized it, rode it up, and planted all this corn on his own. He puts it over there in that silo. You got one? Yeah. Let me see. That's a pretty one. That'll do. That'll do. He's got sweet corn planted somewhere too. So that's really corn that you just like make grits and stuff out of or feed to the deer but he does have some sweet corn somewhere that big pond right there when he bought this piece of property wouldn't hold any water he got the levee fixed and now it is flat out beautiful he's got all kinds of ducks that come here and roost that's where he gets his tomato plant started I'm more interested in that grouper than any of that stuff, Brad. No, that's mine. Get him through the house. Heck no, I'm making me a grouper sandwich. <laughs> that trigger fish right there is better eating than dolphin. Whew. You think the crawfish will eat some of these? I don't know. You said they'd eat them. We're going to try it and see. We're definitely going to try it. This wahoo right here was like winning the lottery, how we ended up getting that thing in the boat. Now, the color on them is bad because we put them on ice. I wonder how many people on earth has ever baited crawfish traps with fresh dolphin that they caught the day before 100 miles from land. We flat ran a long ways yesterday. I'm using my Danko nine inch to clean these bigger dolphin. It's hot and humid right now in Georgia, so we're in a time crunch. I would have never thought they had crawfish here like they do, but he said when that river gets right, the crawl fishing gets right. And that is right now. Right here is what we're baiting them with. That's a good size right there. Can That's the one you caught. This is the big one you caught. It's funny because Crystal's so short and all the rod holders on that boat are pretty tall, especially the outriggers. It's definitely not the time to have little legs. <laughs> I tried to reach up and get that outrigger yesterday and it was not working. But where you stand to gain is when it's rough, you're not going to fall out of the boat as easy. Have a more low center of gravity. Yeah. That's the only positive, I promise you that. What about climbing in a tree stand? Is it easier? <laughs> no, absolutely not. Keeping up with you walking behind in the woods isn't easier either. You know how I know Brad's deaf? Every time he gets out of that truck, he leaves the door open and it's steadily beeping. He don't, he don't even hear it. 
Oh, I see it. It's cracked. <laughs> There's something big one. Something big in this one's belly. And a big old flying fish. Yeah. <laughs> Let's cook this tonight. You want to cook this? No. <laughs> Brad's been pretty big about saving everything. I think we should probably yeah. save it. So this is what we're going to put in the catfish traps, the row. Yeah, I need a helmet. Am I sitting on your lap or what? Put your seatbelt on. Let's go. It's going to be a wild ride. Don't tell them I'm drinking. I want to go to How far do we got to go? Do you got your ID to drink? <laughs> you guys, Brad, Brad still has a flip phone. He don't even have a smartphone. He don't like the camera, but we forced filming. Don't worry about it, folks. We should have brought our helmets. Yeah. I've only known him for 30 years, so I'm allowed to harass him. We're headed down to the river to put these traps out and put some new ones in. Y'all are going to ride shotgun with us, just like you're here with us. Is he talking he trash? Said, he said he found you down by the river. Your family left you when you were 14. Yeah, they did. <laughs> yeah, people don't know that. I used to have blonde hair down to my shoulders when I was a youngin'. I cut it when I was about 19 years old, though. Hang on, redneck. Hey, Brad. There's a no trespassing sign. If somebody shows up, should we take off running or what? Yeah, you go one way, I go the other. <laughs> I knew it. I had a feeling. Brad, you can't drink in Georgia on Friday. You can't that damn camera. <laughs> <laughs> He's got us so far off in this swamp right now, if something happens, we ain't never gonna be able to walk out. Luckily, I got some sunflower seeds to eat. Babe, you know how to get out of here? No, I ain't got a clue. Yeah, we ain't even to the swamp yet. We're still up on the hill. Down there is the swamp. So these traps have been set for three days. We're gonna pull them and reset them. Come check them tomorrow morning and see if they'll eat dolphin. Brad don't think they'll eat dolphin, bro. I do. This looks like a good place for a cotton mouth. Not another one. Hey. Babe, there ain't a square inch of this swamp I haven't chased a hog through, I can tell you that. Really? Yeah. Barefooted in all these briars and yeah, poison thick. ivy. That is thick. You can get Whoa. lost out there. We're getting swampy Easy. now. What's he hollering about over there? You see? No, no, that was me. I said we're getting swampy. Yeah. This swamp goes for miles and miles and miles. Look at all the spider webs. Who's pulling? Hoot me. Crystal's right? pulled. How do you get out of this Honda? Redneck, I don't want you out here running around in the cotton mouse. I see the trap. Where? Just pull that white, pull that white thing. Yeah. You're gonna lose them sandals. Lord have mercy. I hope that's leaves in there. <laughs> you can't see all that red? Holy <laughs> moly. Any in it? There's, yeah, they're red all sticking oh, out of it. Oh my lord, we caught them all. Goodness. Holy cow, man. <laughs> wow. We got to go get the tub. Bring me that tub. This is a lot. I seen it where that trap would hold no more. Not you couldn't cram another one in. <laughs> you want to rebait it? Yeah, we're going to bait them. Is that good many in it? There's. 25. <laughs> it's probably 100, 125. We got enough for dinner, that's for sure. Huh? We got turn, enough turn it up for on dinner. Me. Oh, you don't do it like no, this? No, just uh, turn it up. Let them all, all right, well, I don't uncook something. No, Wait, way. other end. Like this. Oh, they're falling out. Yeah, they got a whole, the whole gate open. Look at that joker right there. Don't you fight me. Here, y'all do it. Grab them. They hurt you, didn't they? Yep. 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 
Oh, babe, <laughs> Yeah, y'all do it. Y'all want to get this What, this right here? Yeah, just turn this way. Goodness. That is so much. We got two more of these? Three more. I told you, that's enough. Golly. Do you turn the smaller ones loose? That's the small ones there, Arthur. Hold it how you ever want it, baby. Right here, then to it right here. Golly! Look at this mammer jam. Whoa! Yeah, get him, babe. Get him. <laughs> <laughs> this big girl food. I bet you wish your mama was here. She'd oh probably like this. Oh my goodness, she would love them. Look at that. There's another big one in there. Yeah. There's a big one right there. This is big too. Brad done put us on the meat. See, I put you on the dolphin yesterday, and you put me on the crawfish today. That's how. That's how life there works. Over hundred in there. These traps were, were made for. Bait. Uh, he had me. Was made for. Uh, Look at him. Eel. What is and that? Half a horseshoe crab would go in this one out here. Then they had a muzzle in the. Back Hold it up and explain to everybody why you like this trap, and say what you just said again. They were eel traps. Then we, you put a half a horseshoe crab in there for the eels. Really? For real? Mm-hmm. There's a place in um, all the eggs is between the shit layers. Yeah. You notice them? There's a place up in Maryland that that goes out and catches those horseshoe crabs and then draws their blood and takes them back out and turns them back loose. That's what we're getting some of them. We're gonna bait them good. What's this? Just big shad? Yeah. That's big shad. Yeah, we're gonna. You can wait out through there putting traps out and load down. I will. You caught those shad too, right? Yeah. You got it tight. Okay. And that one's okay? You gonna throw it way out there or you want me to do it? Yeah. Let me get up here where you can throw it. Far you can throw it the better. Oh, that's cold. Gator! <laughs> <laughs> He's as bad as you. You ready? Hold on, rednecks in the way. Go. One, two, three, go. Oh yeah, keep this right ball. <laughs> Y'all see that swamp out there? When I was young, I miles and miles and miles of that stuff. Brad's hog dogs would be out there, have one bait up, and this water's about 40 degrees, and him look at me and say, go get him. And I'd have to go all the way out there swimming, because this hole might be eight foot deep, and then there'll be dry land, and then a two foot deep hole, and then six inches, and then 12 foot. You swimming, and oh my goodness, it was horrible back in the day. But now, we eating crawfish for dinner. You have a pile of crawfish with all four, eight, eight traps. <laughs> yeah. So the water you see running through that pipe right there will eventually come out into the ocean, the Atlantic Ocean about Brunswick, Georgia. It's dropping fast. Let's put one right here. You want to put another one out right here? Oh, we need to put that one out with the dolphin row. We'll catch all of them. He, he tells, he's worse than me. We need to put one out right here so I get out and he pulls up 10 feet. I gotta find a place to throw it out. Don't see these trees right here. Look right here, this, this dolphin right here is gonna catch. Uh, dang, you got too much in there. <laughs> Why you gotta be so hard headed your whole life? Look at that, see the white bird back down there eating them? See, see, can you take a picture of that dog? Oh, oh, I see. Egypt? You guys, if I say it's blue outside, he's gonna say it's green. So just get used to the arguing. Yesterday fishing. Oh man. That jerk was good too. Um, they don't like pink. What do you mean they don't like pink? I done tried all of them. One day we caught them with pink. After that, couldn't catch them. Well, the tomorrow's the day they're gonna eat pink. And that's all you got. No. No. <laughs> it was comical to say the least. We went a long ways offshore. That's one of the farthest trips I've ever made. We were about 110 miles from land. Watch this, I'm gonna really piss him off now. If he thinks I'm gonna throw it over there. Turn it downstream, the muzzle now. You want him to crawl up current? Put, put the, it'll fill up with leaves if you don't, you got to turn the muzzle downstream. This is what this one will have more than any of them. I don't know. I'm so curious to find out. 
camouflaged. Do they no, like? Don't untie it. Just leave it tight. Okay. Do they like the running water more or stale Sometimes water? It don't matter. When it's eleven foot, it's running everywhere. It's got a few. There's a fish. There's a good amount in there. Yeah, there is. Turn it up on the end. Yeah. Let them fall out. And let them fall out this end, right? No, don't like bang it on the ground one time. Let it bump on the ground right there. Then it'll all get it. Oh. Then you get that old bait up. This thing kind of smells. I don't open it yet. Let me get these down. And then now we're going to flip it. Let me get this out. You shut that one back. Shut this one back. Babe, he just okay. run that through your hair. That's okay. I'm curious to see if I like these or not. If you leave the traps out too long, will they eat each other? Yeah, see this? Cannibalize. They cannibalize. Yeah. A shrimp will too in the cage. You know that? Yeah, a shrimp definitely will. Pull it back. See it where that makes All right, we got to get some bait. It sucks when you're doing this and then you forget and pick your nose. And then you got that stuff in your nose the whole time. Pull it tight. Make sure that thing where they can't crawl out. Little crooked, bit of crawl up on it. That's, that's good enough. <laughs> he doesn't want the chute pointing that away so leaves yeah, go into it like that. Pack it where they can't get in it. Okay. You're doing good for a rookie. Redneck, you just got to hold tight. He is like, this is not what I signed up for. Smell like throw your hand in there. your nose one time you, you forget and you'll know it. Look at my hands. Gross. Gross. We got one. The gate's open. Wait. The gate's wide open. That last one somehow the door got left open. The door's open on this one too. Somebody took something wrong. Yeah somebody's done taking his crawfish traps. That's about sorry folks. Sorry. We just said our last pot right here I want to show you these holes these are crawfish holes and when this water dries up in here and it will very soon all these millions and millions of crawfish will dig down in the ground in holes just like these and they'll pile their dirt up around it and it'll get super high and all those crawfish will go down into the ground it's pretty neat I've actually made a video of digging them up by hand but to do it to get enough to eat would take a long time that's fun fact. Crawfish will go down into the ground. It's straight. It's straight enough. It'll catch. Y'all watch this. Let me get my glasses right. Look at all. Watch now that I got the polarization on. Look at all the crawfish going. Look at him. Right there. There's a whole pile of them in here. Look. See him? There's another one right in there too. They're in this whole pond right here. If you don't wear polarized glasses, it'll blow your mind once you put them on, how much more you'll see in the water. Y'all look who we got in here. Miss Betty Arrington. How's your back, Mom? It's much, much better. Thank you, everybody, for all your prayers. What y'all doing in here? Cleaning, cleaning the vein and shrimp. shrimp. Shrimp, we got our potatoes cooking, we got some corn, we made some sushi, we got some lemons, redneck. Now we got to go purge these crawfish. How do you do this, Mike? We just dump the salt all over them? We're gonna sprinkle salt all over them, let them purge. You guys, Mike is who rebuilt our camp for us, put all the wood floors. You did a whole bunch of stuff. Not done yet. Not <laughs> done, that's for sure. I don't normally film here on a weekend. It is a weekend and now we got all kinds of awesome people. We got these people at the camp here. Some guys down here rebuilding a houseboat. People enjoying the evening on their golf cart. We just sprinkle it in? Just sprinkle it on top. How much? It's good right there. About that much? Yep, yep, yep. That gets all in. Now what does that make that them makes, do? That, make, that cleans them out and they'll start spatting. I want them extra clean. Yeah, you can put a little bit of crab oil in there too, whatever. But anyway, you'll have that in all the season if you boil them. Poor little guys. If Luke was here, he'd want to save some. 
What'd you do to your wrist? I fell down deer hunting. Had never recovered. <laughs> deer hunting? <laughs> Dragging deer out the backwards. Tripped over my own feet. Right after dad had his stroke in 2008, we were hunting right when he had gotten a little bit better and he tripped. And I looked back at him, he looked at me like, don't you even say a word. <laughs> now, do you dump the peelings in there after you're done? We can. It ain't gonna hurt nothing. I just didn't want to fight a bunch of seeds. Yeah, well. Here, you got that? Yeah, I got it. I got it. While you got that, I'm gonna take some Old Bay. Two of them. Now I'm gonna add two of these bottles of the Zatarans. All right, so while we're waiting on the water to boil for the crawfish, we got my dad and Brad Yeoman back there telling old timer stories and they're heated up. They are heated up, folks at home. We got some of this fish fry right here, Louisiana. I already added one and I added about a cup of flour. Them two right there are heated. Not at each other. They're heated at whatever they're the story is. A, yeah, a serious conversation. No, they're just trying to out talk each other. <laughs> they're having a talking, talking loud competition. Probably neither one of them can hear very good. So. Right. <laughs> they're both officially deaf. Y'all leave a comment below if you got a fishing camp somewhere that you go to with your family and friends, and it gets noisy and funny, and it's just it's what life's all about. I've already seasoned them lightly with some salt and some Lowry's. We're gonna let them take a swim in the seasonings. Can I ask you two what you We vacuumed. You drinking beer again? It's the same one, I told you. <laughs> hey, you hear that? He said it's the same one. Now we're here, dump them crawfish in, Brad. Oh yeah, put them in there. Hey. Here. I'll hold your same beer. The crawfish. Put the crawfish in there. Mike! Hey! <laughs> hell, hell no, you talking. Let I'll, get I'll hold it. I'll hold it. This thing's clean. I won't drink it. Yeah, it's clean. <laughs> this is our version of a crawfish boil. I don't know if it's the right way, but it's our way, ain't it? Lord, thank you for this day. Thank you for this time to share together. Thank you for dying on the cross, and thank you for providing this food for our bodies. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 Mom, are you excited or what? Yeah, this is good food. Sandra, I've, I've already got my mouth full. Mike, got her got he's got his mouth full. <laughs> he's telling an old story. I don't even know what he's telling, but he's telling an old one. <laughs> Not, the the meal. Uh, you guys, this is just how we live our normal life, telling right, stories and that's it. This is our version of a crawfish smart. boil. Thanks for Brad taking us out there and showing us how to catch these crawfish like that. That's definitely the most I've ever seen anybody catch in not a farming environment. And if he wouldn't, he's getting old, he's 70 years old, if he wouldn't have forgot to close the trap door. I'm 29, so it is what it is. How old's your girlfriend? She's 28. I'm 29. How old are you, Mom? 29. How'd you have me at 29? Tell people's age. They don't like that shit. Why not? We survived every one of them. Yesterday, Dr. Sammy Walt asked Dr. Sammy how old he was, and Dr. Sammy says, Yeah, yeah, I'm doing good. Yeah, I'm telling you. Mike, how old are you? I forgot. Say old enough. <laughs> old enough to know better. Look, what is dad doing down there with the salt? Oh, they pretty good. He down there salt like them? them two seasoned yeah. shrimp. Holy crap. He likes them? He I likes did them. good about yeah, something and for good. once? You eat some of what she's on. I will. I will, for I sure. I don't know if I need silverware, do I? I don't. But the question is, do you think we're going to catch more with the dolphin guts or the shad? I told you dolphin guts ain't worth a shit. <laughs> I thought you weren't supposed to be cussing, Brad. Yeah. <laughs> it's got to be the... Mom, I think I'm going to catch... A, you know why I think the dolphin's going to catch so many? Because I put the row in there. Oh, yeah. They'll come after that row. You can you take got that, that to the right. bank. Show us how you eat them. You just chew the whole shell up? Listen to them. <laughs> you got to suck the head on him or they ain't working. I think Crystal's going to stay here and just hang out in the swamp with Brad, Mom. <laughs> Them two are like two peas in a pod. Where you bought it at? Right here? Huh? You bought it right here? Yeah, oh, this is too good. Come to, oh, Crystal. Yeah. Sounds she like ain't never been around people. You know what I'm saying? Don't puke, please. She ain't. She won't. It went straight Mike, what's wrong with these two? Y'all ain't never been around people that eat crawfish. That you, ain't no good. 
Who eats them? Redneck. <laughs> Redneck, come here. Redneck, come here. Come here, boo. When I bit in, it went straight into my teeth. I'm gonna have to floss it. It's really good. Y'all got a pretty thing. Let him know. Dad, take a mop. Dad, you gonna suck the head? Yeah. Oh gosh. That ain't bad, lad. That ain't good. Mike, you suck the heads? Right there. Golly. Day number two, Beachy. Come on, let's see. We got to do this in a hurry. I see some. Uh -oh. There's some. Not that ain't as, bad. Not as many as yesterday. There we go. Shut it up and let's ride. Trap number one. Day number two. That's the dolphin head. Uh huh. Look right there. That's the dolphin head, folks. <laughs> Look at that. Take him out before he'll go see there. I didn't even remember. No, I didn't. Oh, <laughs> what do you think? I didn't even know this is the one with the head. I didn't either. Look at that. And yeah. it's still fishing. Rick, we better put a piece of sand there where to catch a fish. Oh God! That he stinks. smells. Is it stinking? Yeah. Oh my Lord, bad. <laughs> Y'all should smell that. Damn, that one got a hundred in it. That one's got a bunch. You think it was the spot or the? I the, think it was the dolphin. The head. Brad told me it ain't gonna catch nothing. <laughs> I lied. <laughs> Start keeping them. Look at that. That's just two pots so far. Yeah, we got more pots to go. What do you say, babe? The dolphin wouldn't work. Which one caught the most? The dolphin. <laughs> That's what I know. Do you see his surprise face? Yeah. He learns something new every day. <laughs> and he threw all them carcasses out and didn't save he them. He says now he's saving all of them. <laughs> he's gonna have to buy another freezer. You should see his shad freezer. That was pretty cool. Yeah. He has a whole freezer full of frozen shad. He the sells them shad to the cat fishermen. So if you haven't been following along much, Brad Yeoman, who's, who we're with, lives off the land. He traps, catches shad, catfish, you name it, he catches it. So the carcasses off those dolphin could have been used for a crawfish bait, but he didn't think they would work. And now he knows they work, so he'll save them. Oh, that bait's gone in that one, huh? He done chunked it out. He didn't want uh, us to know that Shad didn't catch him. Damn, there's one fella over there. Oh, man, that's a big claw one right there. Holy moly. He'd bite the heck. Not it through here. Well, golly, hit the bucket, Brad. I'll get it. You're going to have a fight? I'm moving this. A crawfish fight? Yeah. yeah. Uh oh, I got one arm <laughs> Willie. Hold on. <laughs> All right, folks, that's it. You've seen it. The dolphin outfished the shad. You watched us catch, clean, and cook some crawfish, some shrimp. You actually spent a day with us here in the swamp in South Georgia. Right now, this video is ending, though. Tonight, we're starting a new video back at Paradise Park. We're doing a Calcutta. $50 a boat for the biggest catfish tonight winner takes all one fish the biggest fish is going to win the entire pot and y'all are going to ride along for that as well thanks for watching thanks for subscribing but like jake always says it's time to get up out of here and get the heck out of shape see y'all